Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone watching. I am your host, The Report of the Week, and welcome to this newest video. Obviously, like you could tell, this isn't one of the, uh, the world's most iconic food reviews. Uh, rather, I just wanted to make a little bit of a change and do a random video. Because sometimes I'll just want to get in front of the camera and talk, you know, babble on, blabber on, you know what I mean, and just talk about something random for a little bit. And I guess the first thing that I wanted to bring up was the subject of change. Now, that kind of makes sense. Obviously, if you look at me right now, I think there's one thing that comes to mind immediately, right? You know it. Like, it's one of those things that you're thinking it, I'm thinking of it, we're on the same page, right? You're thinking, review, bro. Tell me about the flying fish. But that's not what it was, believe it or not. I know, I got, I got you. I, I know we all thought that it was, but it wasn't. Instead, you might have noticed, wow, he's got a different shirt on than I remember. And his hair. What's going on? Well, I'll tell you. I changed it up. I made a little bit of a change. I went out because the other day I noticed that some of my dress shirts, especially the uh, the long sleeve ones, were kind of getting a little worn, you know? They were just... It, the, the end of their natural lifespan was approaching rather rapidly. I could see that some of the fabric was getting a bit thin and, you know, soon you'll end up getting a hole wherever and, you know, that's not good. So I needed to go get a few different shirts. And I was searching and searching online. I just couldn't find the type that I wanted. So I went over to the thrift store. Uh, I think it was a Goodwill. And uh, sure enough, found what I was looking for. And uh, secondly, I, I, I don't know. I just wanted to go without the product today. And uh, what you get is what you get. Change, though, is one of those things. I talked about it in my podcast uh, fairly recently. But it was one of those subjects that if I'm still thinking about it and I want to discuss it further, then I might bring it on in video form as well. Change is one of those things that is, I mean, it is such a massive thing. It is, it is huge. And I think it affects everything. Because there are all types of changes, there are all different ways change can occur. Change can be good, can be bad, can be neutral, right? You can make the change, someone else can could happen naturally, could be very forced, could be sudden, could be over such a span of time you don't even notice it. But it's something that is constantly happening to many differing degrees. And the way I wanted to kind of bring up the subject of change anyway, on the most appropriate level, I think, especially for this video, is from the, the creative standpoint. Like, let's say, just in terms of YouTube in general, or you want to do something online, or whatever it is, right? I think one of the most important aspects of the creative process is change. Because if you're doing the same exact thing over and over and over and over, you'll kind of get yourself caught up in a loop. And sometimes while having that little bit of a base, that generalized routine, can be reassuring in some senses, it can get kind of, you know, old and tired pretty fast. One thing that I know that I've gotten caught up on in the past is when I fell into that routine of doing something a certain way so many times. When the time came to make adjustments, make changes, it felt weird, felt unnatural. I think that kind of makes sense when you really think about it because I had been doing the same thing the same way for so long, and I kind of just fell into the sense that, all right, this is the routine, this is what I do, and I'm just gonna keep doing it that way. When you break the routine, well, now it feels kind of weird. It feels almost like I'm doing something that I don't know if I really should be doing. I don't know how well it's gonna go over. Maybe some of you know where I'm kind of coming from there. And I think sometimes, the lack of change will get to us. And before you know it, we're kind of stuck in a loop. We don't really want to do anything because now it doesn't really, you know, I don't know how certain I feel about it. I just want you to know this one thing. I said it in my podcast, and I'll say it again here. Granted, change can be scary, 
I think kind of delving into the unknown, doing something that you've never done before, uh, can lead to those feelings of uncertainty. But always know this, change is not always a bad thing. Yes, I know, change can't always be a good thing either. That's why you're taking that leap. But just because you're doing something that you haven't done before in the creative process doesn't mean that you're doing something wrong or that it's something bad or that it's always going to turn out terrible. A lot of the times it's quite the opposite. I remember when I first was trying to explore the concept of doing random videos. This was going back to 2017. And before that, I largely was just doing uh, food reviews. You know, just one food review after the next, after the next. And that's really all that I was basing this YouTube channel on. And obviously that's what it's known for the best, but I do other type of videos as well. And when I first did a random video, and you could even find it, I, I did this video about Denny's, and it was kind of like a food review, but not really. It was more like just a long form talk, kind of like this, uh, where I just went to Denny's for the first time and, and uh, shared the experience. And I had it edited and everything. It was ready to go. I had spent hours on this thing. I mean, I was just trying to edit it and do the transitions, and I was doing something that I had never done before. And by the time this project was complete, and all of these hours were spent on it, and it was time to release it on YouTube, I was ready to delete it, believe it or not. I felt this sense of apprehension where I really, I was concerned because this was something that I had never done before. It was a type of video that I had never really done or, or promoted or publicized on this channel. I was scared, quite frankly. I didn't know how it was going to go over, what people would think about it, how it would be received. Would people hate it? Would they, would it destroy the channel? Would it kill this channel off or would it go over well? And all of those uncertainties, those what-ifs were just swirling through my mind, and I was ready to just say, you know what, forget it. I'm not so sure how it's going to go over. I'm just going to pursue the safe route, and I'm just going to keep doing everything that, you know, I've been doing for the last, you know, several years. And I'm just going to delete this video because it's just, I don't know how this change is going to go over. And I remember, I, I, I felt this, this worry, this fear, but I didn't delete it. I made it public, I released it, and I said to myself, you know what, I wanted to do this, this was a new idea that I wanted to explore, that I wanted to carry out, I had fun with it, I enjoyed making it, editing it, putting it together, don't just give it up, once you're done with it, release it, and if it floats, it floats, and if it sinks, it sinks. But in the end, it was an idea that you wanted to do, again, talking about the creative process, something that you wanted to pursue, that you wanted to carry out. You did it. You had fun with it. Don't just give up now. So I didn't, and I released it. And sure enough, it went over very well. Now, that's not to say that that happens every single time that I make a change or do something new with a YouTube channel. Uh, there are times where I'll make a video and I'll put it out and, you know, people just won't be interested in it. And that's fine, too. One thing that you have to realize when it comes to ideas and trying out new things, not everything is going to work out. But just because something doesn't work out doesn't mean you should give up then. Don't, you know? With change, sometimes you'll run into a, a dry spell and you may not have any new ideas to try to execute and put forth. However... One thing to keep in mind is if you give up, you're kind of closing that opportunity. It's done. Don't do that. You could always take a break if you want, uh, but, but just I would not recommend giving up. If you have new ideas, I recommend pursuing them. Give them a shot. Like I said, in the end, it might not always conform to the vision that you, you kind of expected it to be, and it might not be received the way that you expected it to be, but if you never give it a shot, and you never try it out, you'll never know what the outcome of it will ever be. Even if you've been doing the same thing for so long, don't let that familiarity lull you in and make you feel like this is the only thing you ever have to do uh, because that's what you feel like your channel is and that's the only thing you can do. No, forget about that. Break that mold. Just make what you want to make. 
And if it goes over, well, it goes over. If it doesn't, it doesn't. In the end, the most important thing in terms of creating is being happy and enjoying what it is that you're doing. I was really prompted to make this video recently uh, because there was another change that came about in regards to the podcast that I do. As a matter of fact, that's probably where the most changes that I've, I've been making that have been going down have taken place. Uh, if you, you are curious, you know, I'll just get it out there, right, since I brought it up. You can find it youtube.com slash v-o-r-w podcast. But anyway, that show that I've been doing started out in uh, 2015 as a completely different thing. You know, nowadays it's a talk-oriented podcast. I started it out as a music request show that was going out on shortwave radio. To make that change from a music show on international shortwave to a podcast that's talk only on YouTube and Spotify and iTunes and all these platforms, that in and of itself is a major change. I mean, that is almost a, a 180 degree change, completely switching up the format, switching up the broadcast mediums, all of that. And a few months ago, when I was really changing the emphasis of the show from music-based programming to talk-based programming, again, because I had been doing the same thing for so long, I wasn't sure how it was going to go over, how it was going to be received, and again, I felt that type of nervousness, anxiety, and apprehension when it came down to it. But I went ahead with that change, and I reminded myself, you know what, this is something that you want to do, this is a change that you want to make. Just go out there, pursue it, and what happens, happens. So I did. I made the format change. And sure enough, it went over just fine. And now the show is more talk-based. I still kind of, you know, I, I do had to do a little bit of a music show. Still, that goes out on the shortwave. But largely, my efforts are focused toward the talk programming. And I have so much fun with it. Lately, I've been trying to invest in better equipment, uh, better resources so I can improve it, make it even better. And I've just been having a great time doing it each week, sitting down, just getting to the microphone, talking about whatever's on my mind, whatever's going on in the world. And I even take some listener, viewer submitted topics as well. And, uh, you know, the show is just a lot of fun to do. And it's a change that I'm very glad that I made. In the end, I just wanted to get in front of the camera here today and just say, you know what? Change is okay. I know that it sometimes has a stigma behind it, and we ourselves get scared of it sometimes because we've been doing something the same way for so long. But just know this. When you're creating something, when you're doing something, and you have a new idea, I encourage you to pursue that idea. It might not always work out the best, but if you don't pursue it, you will never know what the outcome of it is. So thank you for watching. I'm your host, The Report of the Week, and if you are interested, uh, be sure to check out my newest podcast. Recently upgraded the microphone setup. Let me know what you think, how you think it sounds. VORW Podcast, it's the name of the YouTube channel. You could also find it on iTunes, Spotify, uh, Stitcher, Google Play, TuneIn, Pocket Casts, SoundCloud, just by searching VORW. That's how easy it is to find. You listen in on shortwave, you can still tune in 5950 kilohertz, 5850 kilohertz, or 7780 kilohertz. We've got you covered on all platforms. Thank you for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you again in a couple days with a review. That's all.